Jerry, this is Digi, and she's a five-year-old kangaroo. She's the first known kangaroo here in Nixa, and because of her, the city is considering an exotic animal ordinance. Yes, she came from Penning Zoo. We're not sure exactly where, but it was somewhere up north. We're thinking Minnesota, Montana, somewhere in that area because she came with a very thick coat already, so she'd come from a colder climate. A lot of Cheerios, some bread, and bananas. <laughs> Going after that Those are some of Digi's favorite things. She's very calm. You know, we've had a lot of animals through the years. I grew up with Great Danes. I'm used to big animals that are crazy. And she just kind of hops around and <laughs> is nice and calm and peaceful. She became a part of this family a few months ago. Um, it's an animal my wife's wanted for years and years and years. And uh, I told her, you know, research it, find out what we need to do. And, you know, she, she researched it for a long time. She went through uh, with animal control, with state, to see what all we needed. Want to eat your Cheerios? No! It is perfectly legal for them to possess it. And, uh, you know, the kangaroo, I, I did go meet it. And, you know, they, they have a, a facility that's adequate uh, to house the animal. Um, they have, you know, the fencing around their, their yard and everything. Um, so they, they've met all requirements. But you know, once we got her here and the kids talking about having a kangaroo and then people just driving by, seeing her, it started to flag a lot of things. The city and the family both say no complaints have come in, but people have called out of curiosity. A lot of the big uproar came with, they passed, you know, where you couldn't have chickens in Nixa. Well, then we get a kangaroo and the, the thought was, well, why can they have a kangaroo but we can't have chickens? That's why Nixa is drafting up an exotic animal ordinance. We need to make sure we consider all factors and when we make this decision as to uh, do we want to allow exotics and if so, what type of exotics we want to allow. There's a lot of people out there that she wouldn't be a good pet for. You know, she's good for us because we take the time to really research it. It's not just, oh, it's a novelty, let's get a kangaroo. Eventually, the family would like to take Digi out so more people in the community can learn about her and enjoy her. Jerry?